The book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. What's up, man? You look like you got a question, man. Come here real quick. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, man. <laughs> what he say? Blessed are they that do his commandments. Scripture say, blessed are they that do his commandments. Do y'all know any of the commandments? Hey, my brothers. Do y'all know any of the commandments, brothers? Hey, well, come here real quick. Tell me about it real quick, my brother. No, no, come here, brother. Tell me who that was written to, my brother. Because that was not given to everybody. Right? Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. That they may have right to the tree of life, right? And you're going to see that? How, if, 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 if the people in the churches, these pastors for all these years were saying, ah, the laws are done away with, right? You ain't got to keep those old things no more. They was really taking you away from the tree of life. Right. It was taking you away from your everlasting kingdom that has no end, right? right? Because you're going to know that these people are natural born blood suckers. And that's all they wanted was your money. They don't want you to have eternal life, nope. right? They don't want you to have paradise. They don't want you to sit with Abraham in Abraham's bosom. You understand? They want you to go out here and burn in hell with the rest of these lying ass devils, man, that told them to do as thou wilt. That told them that you got the slave Bible and that's it. This is all you can understand in the book in the last days, right? But the Messiah has waking up his chosen seed in the last days to understand living prophecy, right? To understand these records in the last days, right? What I had you with? You got a, you got a piece up? I can't. What, what you got? Psalm 147 and 19. He showed of his word unto Jacob. He showed a word to everybody. Unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So he showed his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Meaning what? We're the only people who are suffering punishments for breaking these law, statutes, and commandments, right? right? Nobody else is going through these things, right? Amos 3 and 1, right? No, no one else is going through these penalties. Only the children of Israel. And that's why we come out here to wake up the children of Israel so that we can return and stop receiving these punishments. Hey, my brother, how you doing? Hey, you believe in the book, brother? You, you say what? In fact, okay, facts. My brother, what's your nationality? Yeah. What people you come from in the earth? Black and Mexican, what's your father? Black. Father's a black man. So, when you look right here, right, and you look on this sign right here, right, we come out here for the 12, the 12 sons of Israel, right? Have you ever heard of the 12 tribes of Israel, my brother? No? So you never heard of, uh, you, you, do you know about the Bible? A fact? So you, who is Moses? Yeah, he can't even stand straight. You know for sure? Okay, well Moses, was a slave in Egypt, right? And he gained spiritual power to free his people. You ever heard of that? You ever heard of Moses freeing the Israelites? Let my people go. Does God love everybody? Right. Is God everybody's people? Right. right. Who is God's sons on earth? Jim. All right, Exodus 4, verse 22. All right. Hey, sister, come here the words of the Lord, sister, and live in the last days, sister. Two scriptures, sister, and live. Right? Huh? I'm going to tell you right now, brother, watch this. It's in the word. We speak the word, right? Exodus 4, verse 22. You got it? Come on, go ahead. Exodus 4, 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, thus says the Lord, Israel, Israel. We come out here for Israel. We come out for Israel, brother, what you will be one of the sons of Israel in the last days. Brother, watch this, man. Israel is my son. Even my firstborn. You come out here for the firstborn of the Most High, man. Which is you, brother? Which is uh -huh. Israelites in the last days, bro? And that's I say unto thee, let my like this. son go. What the Most High say? Let my son go. We want, uh, we want these people to let his sons go in the last days, man. And brother, bring that woman over here and cleanse up in the last days, man. And put some clothes on her, man. What? 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 Behold, I will slay that son, even thy firstborn. Listen, we was punished, right? Was we punished? We was we was punished under under the fires, right? So the Most High had to slay their firstborn. 
You understand that, my brother? You're a little, you're a little tipsy. You're he, can't a little stand, he can't stand up you straight. You understand, though? You said, come at you, though? I'm coming at you, brother. I'm giving you the wisdom right here, right? Let me get Romans chapter 9. You got that, Amos? Watch this. The book of Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. So understand, this word is for you, my brother. This word wasn't given to everybody. You think God's word is for everybody? Yeah, that's a fact. Watch this. We're going to read this nice and slow for you. Watch this, brother. We're going to see because hey, we're gonna see if you're a little drunk right now, brother, if you can hear. Watch. Just listen. I want to see if you can hear. Watch. This is going to be the test. Go ahead. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So who's the man for, brother? Me. Andrea. They read it again for the brother. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. So who are you? I'm his child. Israel. Israel. All praise to the most high. Get a brother hand. That's right. You're a child of Israel, brother. Everybody is not a child of Israel. You see that? So that's why we come out here with the truth. Hey, sister, your, your reservations is over. Huh? I'm talking to you, brother, but I want to talk to everybody so they can come over here like with you. Oh, 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 okay, brother. Listen to the brother. Talk to me while I'm right here. Go ahead. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only. Now, I know everybody. You only. What's the Lord saying? You only. Uh -huh. Have I known. Of all the families of the earth. What's that mean? Tell me. Okay, so he's saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, meaning God, who the world calls God, right? Whose name is Yahweh, brother. Understand that this day. That's who your power is. His name is Yahweh. His name is not God, right? His name is Yahweh. And that's who we should be lifting up our, our voice for in the last days, right? So he said, you only have I known, right? When you look at us, right? When you look at this right here, these slave signs right here, right? Did this happen to everybody? Was everybody hung on trees here in America? Did everybody receive of these penalties, my brother? Every everybody? So 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 did we did we hang hold on, did we hang white people up on trees? No, so so, so that penalty wasn't for everybody, right? Yeah, that's different right there. You ain't talking about it like that. So that's why I'm saying this is a judgment that comes from the Most High God, right? So that's why I'm asking you: Did everybody go through this? Uh, no. Nah. Okay. So watch this. Just us. Right? Just us. Okay. Watch this. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you. What is, what is hanging on the tree? I will punish you. Hey, see that right there, brother? These are judgments from the Most High. So he's saying, because you refuse to hearken unto my voice and keep my commandments, I'm going to do what? I will punish you uh -huh. for all your iniquity. All your iniquity, brother, for all your sins. You see that? So now you got to start to come and cleanse yourself up. Let me get the uh, book of First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. Now you got to start to cleanse yourself up and to know how to turn back to the Most High. How do I return back to my Heavenly Father, right? Who, who put the damn whip on me, right? Who put the damn devil on me, right? Who put me on slavery, right? This is what you should be asking us in the last days, right? Wait, to cleanse up. myself up. You got that? First Kings chapter 8. What, what I got you over? Hey, wake him up, Kyle. Kyle, I'll pray. Kyle, Kyle. Kyle, let me get that. It's the wake book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Listen at that, brother. So if we would have did all of the commandments of the Lord our God, he would have put us on high, right? Why do you think we the only people who walk around talking about some, yeah, my nigga, I'm a king, nigga. Right. I'm God, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's how we talk to one another. That's how we talk, right? Don't we, don't we walk around and say, oh, what's good? What's good, God? What's up, king? Us, as, 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 as brothers. That's in our stature, right? We, we are people of high stature. We feel good about ourselves, even in our lowest state, brother. You see that? 
Why do you think everybody on the planet Earth want to be like you? Want to dress like you? Want to talk like you? Want to emulate your music? Want to want to dress and dance like you? They want to dribble the basketball like you, right? They don't want to be like these other people, brother. You know that to be true. Hey, shout out, man. Y'all yeah, about Shemar, shout out with the heart praise, gang. Let me get that First Kings 8 and 46. Watch this, brother. It's patience, brother. We gotta have patience. I'm waiting on my brother to find that verse. My brother gotta find that verse for you, bro. I'm stopping. Oh, okay, brother. Patience, brother. Patience, patience. First Kings 8 and 46. Bring it out. We gotta find verse. If they... Like, listen, I, did our people sin against God? Facts. Right, so watch, listen up good. If they sin against thee, for, for there is no man that sinneth not. There's no man that sinneth not, right? You see that? So, listen up good, brother. And thou be angry with them. Was God angry with us? Would you say this was the most high God being angry with us? Yeah, right? Because he only judged us, right? He said, I only knew you, right? If, okay, watch this. And deliver them to the enemy. Who are the white people? Woo! Oh, that's right! Hey, hey, say that one more time. Who's the damn enemy on the earth? The enemy. The white, no, the white man, right? The white man. The white man's the goddamn enemy. Yeah. The white man's the goddamn devil. The white man's the goddamn devil. Why? Why right, say it, brother? He's the goddamn devil. He's the goddamn devil. That's right! Come on, Sean. Right? So that they carried them away captive. And that devil, that enemy, carried us away captive, didn't he? Didn't he put us on slave ships? That damn devil? What? Right? right? Unto the land of the enemy. Far and near. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land. He said, yet. If they should bethink themselves, right? You know what it means to bethink yourself, brother? Okay, let me get Acts 3 and 19. Let me get Psalms 19 and 7. Yeah. Right? We're going to show you, brother, what it means to bethink yourself in the last days. Bring it out, right? Because this is how you cleanse yourself up. Watch. Right. It's the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent. What do you say? Repent. What is, be, what is uh, bethinking yourself? Repent. Repent. Uh oh, hold it. Hey, 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 he wants the living water, man. All praise to the low side, man. Check, check, check. All right, go ahead. This is Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Bring it out. Repent. What did he say? Repent. Go ahead. Ye therefore, uh -huh. and be converted. Now we're going to show you how to be converted, my brother. You know what it means to be converted? Psalms 19 and 7, right? Watch this, my brother. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted, uh -huh. that your sins may be blotted out. So now we're going to show you how to be converted so that your sins can be blotted out in the last days, right? So let me get that book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. Right? We're we going to talk to you, brother. We got enough. We got enough to talk to you about, brother. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Say that, brother. The laws of the Lord, brother, are perfect. Watch this. That ain't number what? The truth. That's right. Go ahead. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. How you get converted, brother, by the laws of God. You see that? I'm talking to you, brother. So now you got to understand what it means to be converted. So that's what we just did, brother. So now, what are some of the laws of God? Do you know? You don't know? Okay, let me ask you this, brother. Let me ask you this. Your dietary system, right? What you like to eat, brother? You like to eat bacon? You don't eat no, you ain't no pork? You eat pork chops? Yeah, pork's in 99? All praises. Get that brother in. Oh, play it. What about shrimp, crab, and lobster? Facts. 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 Shrimp. You love that shrimp? Love that seafood? Hey, man, I used to love that butterfly shrimp. Boy, I'm trying to tell you, I make some mean butterfly shrimp, brother. With that, boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy, with that tartar sauce, I used to double dip in that tartar sauce. Hey, hey, but listen, check it out. So now we got to cleanse you up to show you that that butterfly shrimp, 
That shrimp, crab, and lobster is no good to die. Watch this, right? Let me get Leviticus. Go ahead. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, and verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. We talking to you about everything that's in the water right now, my brother. Okay? We talking to you, brother. And the Lord is talking to you, brother. Watch this. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the water. What has fins and scales in the water? Teach me. Hey. Okay, brother. So listen, salmon, salmon, right? Okay, cool. Salmon got fins and scales, brother. Do shrimp got fins and scales? I'm pretty sure. No, the shrimp have fins and scales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they don't. They don't. No. What about that well, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying. What about catfish? I don't, I don't eat catfish. You don't eat catfish? But I'm just I'm just breaking it down to you so you can understand. You, listen, listen, you said it's like the fish of the sea? You, you mean you mean it's the bottom feeders of the sea. Right, 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 right. But listen at this, watch this though. You eating the roaches of the sea. Right. No shrimp. Yeah, that's like a roach. You yeah, you you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, show the brother that real quick, right? We're gonna show you. That that you turn you turn that that uh that shrimp around. Look at his belly. You flip that lobster over the crab. You gonna see them legs. It look just like the belly of a cockroach, man. But that's what you find. That's what you putting in a in a pot with that water, right? You change that color on that thing. It look red and good to you. Yeah, he said preach, nigga. <laughs> hey, I'm telling to the most high. Watch this right here, though. Watch that. You see that? You see the comparison, brother? So you got the sea. And you got the land, brother. So it always look the same, right? So you gonna eat that shrimp? Nah, I'll play to the most side. Hey, yeah, that's right, that's right. So keep reading, watch that. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. A filthy thing unto you, brother. So that's why you should eat it. Because the Lord said it's a filthy thing. So tell me what I see you eat. Brother, we just told you, brother. So instead of that right there, you can eat tuna. We our donation powder. We, we, we take donations. We don't have a pot out here because we don't come out of it. But we take donations, my brother. If that's what your blessing is. If that's where your heart's desire is, my brother, we take it. We teaching you, brother. We, we teaching you, brother. Let me go back to the house there for a while. We teaching you, brother. So understanding that, let me let me let me get the law fringes for the brother too, right? So we can cleanse you up. Well, we don't pray out here because we're not like the heathens. So you know we no no brother. Yeah, we gonna pray. You know we gonna pray for you. I'm gonna pray for you when I say my prayers, brother. When I'm at the house in my private space, right? What's your name? Andre. Andre. I'm gonna say a prayer over you, brother, in the house, brother, when we do our prayers, you understand? We don't pray out here for it like the heathens do, right? The heathens come out here and they wanna pray to show themselves to be a uh, uh, Catholic priest. I'm your holy father, you understand? They ain't talking about nothing, right? We talking about the truth. This is what we talking about. So watch this right here. But listen to the word. We got a lot of truth. Hey, the most high got a lot of truth. You see that? So that's why we come out here with it. Okay. Okay. So look, check it out. On that card, the brother gave you a card, right? Look on the back of that card. That's our information, right? We got YouTube channels. You see these videos we doing? So we got YouTube channels and all that that we come out here with every week and put out for our people to learn, right? So all these brothers you see out here, you'll see all of them up there teaching the people, my brother. And that's for you. We come out here and do it for free. You see that? So we don't even need your money for this, brother. But if you want to donate, all praise to the Most High. That's on you. Hey, all praise to the Most High, man. And we're gonna, we gonna take it, man, and say, Tawada Yahweh, Tawada Yahweh Shah, right? Baraka Tawada Yahweh, Baraka Tawada Yahweh Shah. Hey, Tawada, my brother. All praise to the Most High, man. Hey, Tawada for your donation. Oh, we gonna keep preaching, bro. Let me get that Jose L401, all praise to the Most High, right? Time, he got a card. Jose L401. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. We just want the Lord's children to hear, right? The children of Israel, not everybody, right? Go ahead. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy, 
No knowledge. No what? No knowledge. It's no knowledge, right? Of the most high. Where? Of the most high in the land. See, there's no knowledge of my brother. Do you know the knowledge of the most high? He said there's no knowledge of the most high in his land, right? So watch this. Let me get that Isaiah 5 and verse two, uh, verse 13. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 13. Wow. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. Why the lost children? Why did, why did the black and Hispanic man go into captivity in the damn shores of America in the last days, brother? Because what? Because they have no knowledge. Because our people are void of the knowledge of right. God, which is his law, statutes, and commandments, go ahead. And their honorable men, what is that wicked nigga down there? Their honorable men uh -huh. are famished. Are famished. Let me get a bed, sister. Y'all ain't met the sister for a damn bed, right. right? Their honorable men are famished in the last days. I'm teaching you, brother. Go ahead. And their honorable men are famished. Uh -huh. And their multitude dried up with thirst. And their multitudes dried up with thirst because they're void of the living waters, man. They are void of the knowledge of God. Go ahead. Verse 20. Yo, you want me to go down to 14? Go down to 14. Damn, she finished too. Woe unto them that call evil good. What did he say? Woe unto them that call evil good. He said, I damn brother down there. It's supposed to be our brother, but he said we was up here doing the evil work. You see that right there? Hey, look, hey, come here real quick. Come here real quick, real quick. Hey, is this Jesus Christ? We just want to know the truth. I don't know who Jesus Christ is. Uh, right here, is this Jesus Christ? It looks like, allegedly. Okay, so listen. What if we tell, yeah, we do got a scripture. What if we tell you that, a Middle, a Middle Eastern looking dude? He was a beautiful man. Okay, how you feel about the black man? Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Look, he said, get it. Hey, look, look, he said, hey, listen, hold on, she like this. Hey, look, hold on, wait, hold on, let her speak. Let her speak. Okay, cool. Black man is beautiful. So, so you know the black man is your guy? I'm saying to you, okay, God, at this point. Your black man is God. Right. Okay. Okay, what? We're going to show you, right? What does Jesus look like? Hold on, look, listen, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What are you going to say? The original human came from Africa, so that yeah. looks like all of us came from a black man. Yeah. Yeah. So what is that word again? But black man does not necessarily mean God. So right. The black, I didn't say that black man necessarily. came from Africa. No, listen, hold on. Hold on, watch this. Let me get Exodus 15, 3. Hold on, watch this. Oh, what? Yeah, you, you like that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like Bob Marley? Bob Marley was uh, you, he was your people. Yes, he was. He, he was a, yeah, he was a white. He was he he had a white father. He had a white father, so this is making my brother. He had a white what? He had a white father. Father? Yeah, Bob Marley's father was white. That's why he died of melanoma. Yeah, that's why he died. Yeah. Hey, hold on, watch this. Can we show you what Jesus Christ looked like? No, no, no. I want to show. Okay, watch this. Man, you see that? <laughs> yeah, you see that right there, man? No, we don't shake hands. Hey, baby, hold on. Okay, I love Bob Marley. Yes. Y'all don't shake hands. Hey, man, the devils are done in the last days. Dude, you know people? <laughs> All right. Are these your people? Is this your man's? Finished. Our people are finished, man. Damn. <laughs> hey, let me finish. What you got? What I had, Jordan? Nah, let me go back to that uh, Jose real quick. So I do. Right? All oh, praise to the most high. Let me get uh, Isaiah 8 and 20 while you're right there. So I do. Right, right. The book of Isaiah, chapter eight, verse twenty. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So to the law and to the testimony is why we come out here to be the light to the earth. But you're gonna see that there's no light in the people because they can't receive what we put down out here, right? Right. right? You got a bunch of damn devils out here 
that's off in darkness, man. And that's why a lot of y'all niggas gonna be cast in the out of darkness on that day, man. The most I ain't gonna do nothing with y'all, right? So he has no choice but to put y'all into a place of emptiness forever, man. Go ahead, watch, what, what you got? Verse three, I think it was that. Okay. Hosea four and three. Hey, my brother, you got time for the word to the Lord in the last days? Can I ask you and your wife a question? What is y'all's nationality according to God? Do you know? According to God. According to God, you're a black man? Okay, so in the Bible, God has a specific chosen people that he named in the earth. Do you know who that is? The children of Israel. Okay, so do you know about the children of Israel? Is everybody the children of Israel? Just God's people? What if I told you your child are the children of Israel? And y'all went into captivity for breaking God's law, statutes, and commandments. Is this Jesus Christ right here? Do y'all believe this is Jesus Christ? What does your Jesus Christ look like? He got locks. He about six foot. Hey, you're the second person out here that gave Christ a height. I'm trying to tell you. I, hey, what is that in the Bible, my brother? What does he say in the Bible that Christ was about six five? That's what the Bible said. That's what I thought. Oh, that's your thought. All right, my brother. I'll pass it to my side. So listen, in the back, wait, real quick. Hey, take a call real quick. Hey, my brother, real quick, can we can we show you something in the Bible real quick, you and your wife? Can we give you one verse, baby? Everybody got something to do, man. That brother be out here every week with something to do. And he's just walking up and down. Hey, hey bro, hey, bro, you saying exactly, bro. That's all we see you doing is walking, bro. <laughs> You ain't handling no business, brother. Come on, man. Our people are finished. What? Hosea 4 and 3. Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. And that's what the Most High is doing. That's the Most High's judgments in the last days. He is taking away all of these things because of the ignorance of our people. Because your willingness to want to come over here and just get about one or two scriptures. It don't take that long of a time for a brother to bring out a precept to change your life possibly, right? But our people just don't have time in the last days, man. Right. right? Our people got time to walk up the dark and what I've known look finished, right? right? Drunk as hell, right? Stinking for no damn reason out here, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 4. Yet let no man strive, nor reprove one another. For thy people are as they that strive with the priest. He says, thy people are those that would strive for the, with the priest. And that's what you see out here, right? We come out here as the priest in the last days to give the law, statutes, and commandments. But these people, they want to yell at us and tell us, oh, y'all niggas is wicked. You don't know what you're talking about. Excuse me, do you believe in the Bible? Hey, excuse me, right here in the street. Do you believe in the Bible? Can I ask you a question real quick? Is this Jesus Christ? Does Jesus, is Jesus Christ white? You said you wouldn't know? Can we show you real quick what Jesus Christ looked like? You know, you got to go. When Jesus Christ is a black man, he's coming back to put all white people in slavery and captivity. That's right! For the crime to your fathers in the last days, right? And that's your judgment, right? He don't care about your rubber suit and your makeup, right? Your Botox, right? He don't care about none of that. Go ahead. Let me get verse 6. Verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. The Lord God will reject our people. That's why he put these punishments on us, right? That's why he put us in captivity, man. Because if you're not wanting to receive knowledge in the last days, right? But our people got smart. Let me get Daniel's 12 and 1 real quick, right? Our people got smartphones, got them tablets and all that to be smart. But ain't nobody trying to really be smart. They dumb right? as hell. They dumb as hell out here still with the greater, with the latest and greatest gadgets in the last days, right? And the people are dumb, right? 